this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a brand script for your business. A brand script explains what you do, the problems you solve, and the steps it takes to work with you in a simple and clear way. It's great to use when pitching investors. It focuses and aligns your brand's message. It's the foundation of the copy for your website's homepage. It's the script for your website's introductory video, and it can even land you a job. And the best part is that it has a super simple framework developed by Donald Miller's story brand that you can put into practice today. By the way, my name is Clint, and on this channel, I give tutorials on things like content marketing, SEO, web design, and more. So if that's you, consider subscribing to stay updated when new content comes out. Before I go over the template on how to create a brand script, you need to understand a few fundamentals about why it is structured the way it is. You might think that people have short attention spans. They really don't. People still go to the movies and watch a three hour film with zero bathroom breaks. They can play video games for the entire afternoon. And this is because the content that they are taking part in is interesting, it's engaging, it has conflict, but most importantly, it has a story. People love stories. It's in our DNA. It's how we first conveyed information long before the classroom. Stories are one of the most powerful forms of communication. In fact, an engaging story can invoke what is called narrative transportation. And this is where the human brain is so lost or immersed in a story that they forget everything else around them. You are in it. Therefore, business owners and entrepreneurs can use the same elements that make a great story and turn it into a brain script that focuses their marketing strategy and gives potential customers a clear brand message. Here are a few rules to keep in mind when writing your brand script. Number one, simple and clear over clever and cute. Marketing materials often try to make their business sound smart by using big words and jargon. However, people actually hate this. No one will move forward with you if they are not super clear about what you actually do. And brand scripts are about clarifying what you do. They're about providing a simple and clear message throughout your copywriting. Number two, start with the problem. Problems are what make stories interesting. They are what draw customers in. A story with no problem is going to get boring real quick. There are three types of problems that you need to flesh out for your brand script. The physical problem like time, money, or energy. Now almost all customers have problems with some element of this. The next type of problem is the emotional problem. This is how your customer feels about the physical problem. What is the emotion connected to their physical problem? Are they tired? Are they anxious? Are they frustrated? Are they worried? And last is the philosophical problem. This is what your customer believes or thinks should or should not be the case. Like it shouldn't be so hard to edit their website after a designer builds it, or they believe dinners should be a time where the whole family can spend time together. The other benefit of problems is that they make your solution more interesting and valuable. Water always tastes better when you are thirsty, and a solution is always more welcome when you are deep in a problem. Number three, you are not the hero of the story. You are the guide. Many marketers make the mistake of positioning themselves as the hero of their customer's story. Customers want to be the hero, and you you need to be the guy. In every epic story, there is a part where the would-be hero meets a guide who trains them, instructs them, or gives them the tools to overcome their obstacles. Your customer is Harry Potter and you are Dumbledore. Your customer is Katniss and you are Haymitch. Your customer is Luke Skywalker and you are Yoda. Your goal as the guide is to help them avoid failure, to be their best selves, and to overcome their obstacles. Number four, you need to build empathy and authority. Whether it's social media content or the copy on your website, people basically have two questions in mind. The first is, does this business understand my problem? This is all about empathy. Addressing your customer's problems helps with this, but it's not everything. Using customer language here helps too. Describe the struggles that they face, 
in the words that they use. And the second question is, can you solve my problem? This is about authority, demonstrating your expertise. On a website, this is often done through logos of businesses that you've worked with, testimonials from customers, and charts and graphs that show the results that you have achieved. Okay, with that out of the way, let's create a brand script. We're going to be using my fillable template and plugging in the information Mad Lib style to make it super easy. By the way, you can download this template for free using the link in the description box below. There, you can also see mine and other businesses' brand script examples. Now, for this example, I'm going to be using a buddy's business called Quip2 that allows people to rent outdoor adventure equipment while traveling. I helped him write it a while ago, and I think it'll be really good for this example. Step one is to state your company's name and the desire that your customer is looking for. For our template, we say, at X, we know that you want Y. Here's an example. At Quip2, we know that you want to travel and enjoy outdoor adventures while you do it. Step two is to state the things the customer needs to do in order to achieve the goal. In the template, we say, in order to do that, you need to do Z. For example, in order to do this, you need the proper gear for that adventure. Step three is to state their physical, emotional, and philosophical pain points or problems. So in the template, we say the problem is, and then state the physical problem, which makes you feel, state the emotional problem, and then you believe X should or should not be Y. That's your philosophical problem. For example, the problem is that outdoor gear is expensive. It's challenging to travel with and can be hard to store. And this can be frustrating, making you feel like the most exciting outdoor activities are just out of reach. We believe that everybody should have the opportunity to experience the best that nature has to offer. Step number four is to introduce your solution. In the template, we say, this is why I or we, and then state your solution, for example. And that's why we created Quip2, a platform that allows you to rent outdoor adventure gear from the people that know it best. Step number five is to give three steps that it takes to do business with you. Now, you're gonna want to create more than three steps here, just don't. You want to use multiple sentences or giant sentences to explain all of your process for each step. Don't. Make it as simple as possible. You want it to seem easy to work with you and to do business with you. So in the template, we say, here's how it works. First we do X, then we do Y, and last we do Z. Here's an example. So here's how it works. First, owners list the gear like bikes, kayaks, camping sets, and more. Then you can search for the perfect gear when and where you need it. Lastly, you can pick up the gear or have it delivered to the site of your adventure all on our platform. Step number six is to revisit the pain point and compare it with your solution. So in the template, we say, don't do X, instead, do why. For example, don't spend your money on expensive outdoor gear that is going to sit in your garage for most of the year. Instead, focus on the adventure and let the owners at Quip2 hook you up with the right equipment for your next outing. Step number seven is to give the call to action, also known as the CTA. Here you want them to take action. They will do what you tell them, but you need to make it crystal clear. And these should also be connected to your business's primary and secondary goals. You can choose up to two here. So in the template we say, here is what to do next. Then you could say, or, then, and, do why. And by the way, it's totally cool to just have one call to action. Here's the example we used for Quip2. So here's what to do next. Go to quip2.com and search for the outdoor adventure gear you've always wanted to try and the place you've always wanted to go. Step number eight, help them imagine what it's like to do business with you. Here, it's important to use descriptive sensory words that allow someone to feel what it would be like to be your customer. Make sure that you're selling the destination here, not the journey. If someone can visualize being your customer and being happy, then they are much more likely to become a customer. In the template, we say, imagine X. Here's an example. Imagine breathing the fresh air of nature and feeling the warm sun on your face as you explore a completely new area in a completely new way. That's the power of using Quip2. Now the real beauty and power of the brand script happens when you put everything together. I'm purposely gonna show you the complete brand script without using B-roll or lower thirds or animations or graphics, just so you can focus on how powerful the words are when you see them all at once. At Quip2, we know that you want to travel and enjoy outdoor adventures while you do it. In order to do this, you need the proper gear for that adventure. 
The problem is that outdoor gear is expensive. It's challenging to travel with and can be hard to store. And this can be frustrating, making you feel like the most exciting outdoor activities are just out of reach. We believe that everybody should have the opportunity to experience the best that nature has to offer. And that's why we created Quip2, a platform that allows you to rent outdoor adventure gear from the people that know it best. So here's how it works. First, owners list the gear like bikes, kayaks, camping sets, and more. Then you can search for the perfect gear when and where you need it. Lastly, you can pick up the gear or have it delivered to the site of your adventure, all on our platform. Don't spend your money on expensive outdoor gear that is going to sit in your garage for most of the year. Instead, focus on the adventure and let the owners at Quip2 hook you up with the right equipment for your next outing. So here's what to do next. Go to Quip2.com and search for the outdoor adventure gear you've always wanted to try and the place you've always wanted to go. Imagine breathing the fresh air of nature and feeling the warm sun on your face as you explore a completely new area in a completely new way. That's the power of using Quip2. If you want the free and fillable SEO guide and checklist for this and my other courses that cover all the stuff I talked about in this video and more, click the link in the description box below and download it for yourself. If you want to see what a brand script looks like with all the bells and whistles on it, go ahead and click the video here. It's pretty good. I did it myself. I'm proud of it. Talks about what I do. I think you'll like it. Go ahead and click it. Why not?